All right, so today we're going to be looking at another gas mask. I'm not going to bother doing intros anymore because, frankly, I'm getting sick of doing them. So, some of you may already be able to tell from what this bag is, you know, what particular type of mask we're looking at today. Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. I'm pretty bored today, so I'm doing this shit. That's pretty much, like, everything around here is a fucking mess. I had two orders come through today. Uh, well, technically four. But only two of them I've actually managed to keep, because two of them I had to send back. Now, I would like to say, if you ever want to shop for military items, um, Military Mart is a good shop to go to. Um, if you have a fetish for being disrespected. Like, they're not maliciously bad, they're just not very good. I'm going to say that. Cause, uh, I'm going to give a quick story before we move on to the mask. Um, I don't know, tap the right side of your screen six times if you'd like to skip the story. I ordered from Military Mart because I wanted to get a Flectarn jacket. Um, mission accomplished, but I'm stretching my arm. It looks like it doesn't fit me, but it does fit me very nicely. Um, well, it's actually more of a field shirt, but it is coming into summer. So it works as a jacket, so I don't mind. The shirt is lovely. That's high quality. But I also saw they had a Nokia M61, the Finnish gas mask, and it was listed as a V3, and they had it in sizes up to XL. So I was very excited for that, so I ordered an XL. I ordered a 60-40mm uh, to 40 millimeter adapter to go with it, and I ordered an MP5. So the smart ones among you is already know what's going to happen with this and also you can probably tell by the title that we are not reviewing an mp5 uh, the nokia m61 was not a v3 with the lovely voice diaphragm google that if you want m61 v3 uh, it said it was a v2 and on top of that it was a size small so i rang them up they said they'll reimburse me if i send it back to them so i've shipped it off today and they will get it in about three days and hopefully they'll send me back the correct things and I'm going to ring them up to confirm when it's arrived and when I'm there I'm also going to have a go at them for what they've sent me here because I'm not going to send this back because it only cost me £42 maybe 41 so it wasn't the biggest loss it's just I like paying for things that I thought I was paying for so moving onward nice little rubbery bag uh, smells funny kind of smells like a pencil case uh, it has got a strap running around it here that you can undo. So a lot of images of this mask have. Not this bag specifically. Mine's got a lot going on there. It was advertised as a complete kit. Um, it is not complete. There's no even strap for it. They did send me the right size on this, thank God. Opening this up, you've got your Velcro along every side. Uh, side pockets here that have nothing in them. What's interesting is that my package actually the M61 spare filter that I got instead of the uh, filter adapter if I mentioned didn't get the adapter got a second filter was in this bag so cheers guys like that thumbnail I haven't trimmed the nail I'm honestly losing most of my physical wellness with lockdown because I've not been being healthy I won't bore you with it. I'm not looking like shit so far, so I'm happy. So what I thought was an MP5, I was very happy to get because I didn't want the uh, what was it? The ANP. Uh, what was it? The ANP VP F1, or the French ARFA mask, the Alpha. That's what I'm going to call it. The Alpha Shelby. I didn't want one of those because I've heard they're really brittle. They're low quality prone to breaking. Um, so I was like, okay, this is the MP5. This looks very similar. And the picture on it was an MP5. I thought, okay, they also sell the tan sand coloured ARFAs. So I was very pleased to see that they knew the difference. Um, then it arrived. If we look at the filter here, there were two caps on it. It was sealed in a bag, so I did actually get a new filter at least. Uh, what I do find amusing is the... Uh, radiation symbol on it, the uh, fallout kind of symbol, not the game. Uh, 
so there is actually at least a good filter with it. And here it is, the dog mask. It's, um, it isn't good. So you can see, this part here is what you got to look out for. If it's dotted, it's the French ship mask. If it's got lines that gradually get closer inward, then it's the MP5, the Polish MP5, rather than this French piece of shit. It's not terrible. I'm going to rag on it, and it's bad. But, yeah, it isn't too bad. Uh, it is just kind of waterproof, rubber-lined fabric inside here. So it is very similar to, uh, if you've ever seen one of those bags that doubles as a water cooler. It's very similar to one of those. Let's put that to one side for now, because we've looked at the bag, and I'm not going to give it too much time. So, you may notice that the uh, straps detach at the bottom, which is... Uh, a good old lovely French strap design, because of course, makes sense, French mask. I'm sure I didn't need to spell that one out, but I did anyway. So, what's to be said about this mask? It's a 40mm NATO. Uh, instead of, like, let's, for example, let's get this. This is my S10, it's lovely. This is another NATO mask, so the filters work very nicely. Now listen to this. Like ASMR, isn't it? Or how about this? It's soft. It's squishy. It works. Now how about this? It's solid. It's it's not flexible. It is resilient as all hell. I'll give it that. I'm going to go over something really quickly. This here is the uh, cap for you to swivel around. Remove that there. You see the... Um, what's it called? Your drinking tube there moving. These also split here. Let's look out for those. Um, you can usually take it off. Now this cap here. I may just demonstrate uh, if you can see that. A nice little knob on there. Yeah, well, now there's no knob. So, it's uh, incredibly brittle. I popped it off, because of course you can see on YouTube people can do that. And uh, when I put it back on, it just cracked straight down. It's about to snap. It's brittle as all hell. It's ready to crumble. It's like old cheese. You know, it's like cheddar. Uh, big bendy cushy eye lenses that are prone to turning fucking yellow uh, both in the sun and over age uh, here's your XL valve on the side apparently they don't really work for being airtight all too well but they do the job uh, it does have an interesting oral nasal cup you can see everything in there, there's your uh, voice diaphragm, there's your exhale there's your little valves uh, this goes right up to your face. The thing I noticed about this mask is um, this is a size 1. This is an XL, just like the S10. Uh, if I frown in this mask, my brow pushes up against the visor, which I find quite funny. So if I get angry about this mask, which is easy to do, then uh, my face just gets smushed up against the lens. So like I said, it's not completely terrible. I will say this for it. It is robust. After buying it and finding out that it wasn't in fact an MP5, and at this point I'd already sent off and complained about the M61. It took me a while to realise this was not what I ordered. I was wondering why it felt shit. I was told it was better, so I thought, wow, the French one must be really bad. No, it's because this is what I got. Uh, also, while I'm here, you can see on the bottom there if it will focus. That didn't know. Right, it's A Beck. However, the K is only a 1. And uh, RBC, which I assume is radiological, biological, and chemical, instead of nuclear, biological, and chemical. Which would make sense, radiological, would make sense on account of the uh, 
radiation warning symbol on the filter, which is a neat addition. So it's got that going for it. It looks cool. That's it. I bought the MP5 because I wanted a mask that I don't have to worry about getting damaged. You know, I wanted something where, say, if I were doing target shooting with an airsoft gun, that I wouldn't have to worry about damaging. Like, even though that was only a dry fire, would I have risked that? Because it still blows out air. Would I have risked that with something a lot nicer? Probably not. Uh, with a pellet it wouldn't do shit, but it would give me a little bit of resistance, which is good enough for me for when something rebounds. Because things often do with lighter rifles, because I use 177 instead of 0.22. So, not just with the pistol, of course, with rifles. Um, and I don't have to worry about this, because believe it or not, I'm not going to put a fucking blank firing revolver straight to my head. I think that's a... Smith & Wesson Type 28 or something 28, I forget which one. It's a Dirty Harry's Magnum. Yeah. Sorry, I'm here to talk about this gas mask. I'm just so uninterested. Not much to say. Six-point head harness does attach around the neck like that. It's always got these. What's interesting about these is that you can do this. You push them far enough and they twist around. It's good for storage, but the thing is, I imagine in 20 years they are going to be so easy to just snap off. So, if I were you, I'd leave them there. Don't fucking move them. There are these around the sides, and I have no idea what this little hinge is for. I assume it's a sort of lip, similar to this, for when you're wearing an NBC suit with it. Uh, it's not quite a panoramic lens, like I said. It is uh, bendy. Uh, these are apparently really chemically resistant to all hell. but uh, It's the fact that it's literally like... It's both chalk and cheese. It is crumbly, and it is shit. And I shouldn't have paid £41 for it. But like I said, I did try something. Oh, and a warning, don't twist this in too hard. Um, if you're going to try and put the filter in while you're wearing it, good luck. Because one of the things I noticed is that I had managed to jam it in at an angle like that. Or something similar. And it will actually screw in like that and it will damage your thread. People have screwed these in before. And this lining around here, it comes straight out. It's full of problems. This thing is a world of hurt for an actual collector. Like I said, I bought this as more of a... I can wear it outdoors, I can do it for urban exploring, because uh, I do a lot of it. Maybe if I, there's a bit of asbestos in the building, whip out you know, an old filter that'll <coughs> block most of it out. That's all well and dandy. That's good enough. I got what I wanted. It's just a lot more fragile than I would have liked it to be. Like I said, with the actual mask, um, I've tried all sorts. i tried actually purposefully snapping it. I tried bending it in all sorts of nasty positions. I tried pushing it along the actual seams. Nothing. So, it is actually uh, alarmingly resilient. It feels brittle. It feels shit. Because see, all the little parts of it are what's going to break. And the uh, little chin sweat holes can be uh, punctured through quite easily as well. Like, if I were to force my finger any further, it would 100% just rip. I don't really want to damage it any further than I already have. I mean, the oral nasal cup is probably the most quality part of it. This? Not so much. I don't even want to know what happens if I pull on this. Alright, well, I've pulled on it. God damn it. As I said, it's not a terrible mask. It's just not good. If you see one of these available, remember to check that it's got rings and not dots. Uh, check that it says Mask Pole, because of course it would be Poland, in massive letters on the forehead. If it has a number one or if it has dots, it is the French shit mask. Um, don't fall for the honey trap like I did. It's not necessarily that the seller is malicious, it's just that they're thick. Unless you complain and they ignore you, in which case they are 100% being malicious and they're riding on the train of uh, MP5 good, ARFA bad. I do think it looks like a dog, aesthetically, especially from the sides, so as far as I'm concerned it is the dog mask. But for what I wanted it for, it's good. I'll say that much about it. I'll give it, you know, a slight bit of praise. Not too much, because it doesn't deserve it. 
I said, don't pay. If I were you, maybe you don't even pay 30 quid for one. Uh, the site I bought it from, again, Military Mart. I don't want to call you out, but, like, you have done me dirty. Um, they have the tan-coloured ones. I'll probably buy one of those next, because at least I don't know I'm buying an ARFA. So I'd like a few more of their uh, field shirts and jackets. Oh, actually, there's a point as well. Let's see if I can get this in focus. Uh, come on. Oh, there you go. Can you see that? German flag. They listed on the website that there's a video at the bottom of it. I say listed because it's actually a video. And in the video, there's a man, who I presume is the bloke I spoke to on the phone, who explains that a lot of the time they do actually remove the... Um, They do remove the flags off the shoulders. I mean, off the you know, off the top of the arms. And in this case, they didn't. Obviously, they said sometimes. But it's the fact that I got two flags on both sides. So, cheers, guys. Uh, I'll probably just cover it up with an airsofting patch. <clears throat> Voice crack. It does annoy me. It annoys me how firm it is. I do like that it sits like that with the head arms. Apparently the head arms is also prone to snapping. I haven't had any problem with that so far. That's nice. You can see that the um, harness system is sort of pegged. And I don't know how long I'd trust that for. It does also have a peripheral seal which is nice. And these often are stamped at the bottom and mine isn't. Which is weird. But I'll live with it. I'm going to put it on so you can hear the voice diaphragm. You put it on over your face. Well, harness over the top of the head and then face. And then you clip on the harness at either side. I like to open the sides briefly so I can let some of my cheek skin back in. Because we're putting on a lot of gas masks. One of the things you may not notice but you'll notice in videos or images is that all your cheek fat will be pushed towards your ears and you won't even feel it. So you've got to watch out for that if you want to look good when used. So you can hear the voice diaphragm. I will say because I'm actually quite hot at the moment it is fogging up. However it seems to have a sort of Tissot system almost. So when you breathe in it does defog. Which is nice. The gas mask does actually look good. Which is a nice feature. You've got to have a bit of aesthetically pleasing. And it is quite useful. It's just not long for this world. Like, I think in 20 years, people aren't going to have these anymore. Because they're just going to deteriorate. They're not long to. They're not long for this world, like I said. They're going to go. They're going to break down. They're more like disposables. You may hear that at times uh, there is a bit of vibration. Especially when I said breaking down. Yeah, that one. Da, there you go. That kind of reverb sound. Also, I'm just going to breathe in for a moment for you and breathe out, and I want you to just listen. Can you hear that sound? Listen to the very end of my breath once I stop breathing. It sounds like a whirring sound, doesn't it? Like a motor being powered down. That never stops, that is always happening whenever you breathe out. Let me just move the microphone one moment. waver there for a moment. So let's get this off. It is like I said a NATO mask so if I unscrew the filter it will fit on an S10. I'm not going to show you but I did try it and it works perfectly. Um, got a Chinese normalized threaded hose here. The filter of course will have a bit of trouble because it is NATO. Good luck getting it in and then getting it back out. You can see I've scraped the thread there a bit. However of course, because it is normalised thread going into female ports are a lot easier. Female threads, rather. 
uh, it will fit the hose and of course it will fit the canister. So that's nice. <coughs> And uh, I don't know what thread this is, I'm pretty sure it's Ghost, I don't think it's Stanag, but I forget. Let's have a look. Alright, and that fits in quite nicely. So It fits a good variety of filters. So now that I'm done dyeing, the French ARFA, or... Um, whatever the hell the full name is, NordVPN. It's a good mask if you can pick it up for cheap. It wasn't worth 20 minutes of my time. But I wanted to make sure that you got the full image of what you're dealing with and if you buy from these people. Like I said, they're not bad, they're just not good at their job. Like They're not evil, they're not out to get you. They just should hire people that know what they're doing properly. Like when I called them up, they said... Um, uh, do you order a size XL? I said yes. And they said, uh, and he sh shouts out to a friend. He says, is, which one's a size XL? Which number? And his friend goes three. And I can see they've written three in pencil on the invoice. I did send off the invoice back with the return. I did take pictures though. So, uh, and he said, well, hold on, I'll get back to you. And he goes off, and he comes back, and he said they had to try them all on, and he found out that they were right. That I was right. A size three is indeed too small. And I thought. You've had your shop for years, and it took me having to complain for you to figure out that your system was wrong. At no stage did you think to check. Like, when you have a whole variety, you didn't think to check yourself. So, they're not evil. They're just not that good. <laughs> I don't want to call them inept, because that's rude. And, uh, just have a look. You can see it does actually say NBC on it, so that's nice. Ooh. Have we got a bit of filter focusing? Oh, whatever. Let's see it. Um, not much else to say. It's a pretty good mask if you want one as a sort of throwaway. Where if it gets damaged, you're not going to be heartbroken. Uh, if I do damage this any further, I'll probably do a torture test on it. Because I didn't want to buy a Yugoslavian M1, which is also similar to the M61. I'll just buy one of those, so I probably will next month, and I may buy two, because a lot of people don't know what causes the melting, and for some reason no one's willing to fork out, what, £12.99, free shipping, to find out what they are, and it's not like they're rare masks, so I'll probably buy two, and I'll figure out what it does, you know, try spraying cologne on it, seeing if it's people's smellies that go on it that causes it, direct sunlight, people say it's not that, but, you know, different chemicals, Whatever. Leaving out in cold, I doubt it, because Yugoslavia and Serbia, of course. But, uh, yeah, hopefully that'll happen uh, probably June. It'll happen around June. Even then, probably won't even happen then, because my friend's birthday's near there, so I'll be busy getting something for her. So, rant over. Mask shit. That's what I'm going to say. It's, um, it's no S10. Pick up an MP5 if you want this style and you want actual reliability. Don't buy from Military Mart, unless of course you want clothing items, because, you know, the clothing's pretty good. <sighs> Thing is, I just wonder if I've just had a really bad experience with other people who haven't been fucked over by them. Like, to have literally everything in the order not be as it seems, that's pretty shady. I spent nearly £100 on all this. And after that, I even paid for premium shipping, which was also a day longer than it was meant to be. Because it didn't get shipped out to the next day after I actually had to check the code online. Because I was like, where the fuck's my order? I didn't even get a confirmation email. And then there was the next day, they're like, oh, right, yeah, sorry. It came through, and then I had to wait through the weekend because of that one day delay. Because, of course, no mail on Sundays. So, that's my experience with Military Mart. This has been the ARFA. Or NordVPN, because I keep forgetting the actual name. Pick it up for 30 quid, maybe. Don't pay more. For Christ's sake, do not pay like £90 like eBay's asking. Good for coronavirus, because if you get hit in the face by a Karen wielding a tin of skinned potatoes, it'll probably just fucking shatter the mask and, like some sort of damage proxy, you'll just be unharmed. 
Is that how it works? I don't know. Bye.